Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man, and today I'm going to review the Zapperbox M1. It's one of the only ATSC 3.0 next-gen TV-enabled tuners on the market that connects directly to your existing TV with an HDMI cable and does not require an internet connection in order to use. How well does it work and should you buy it? If you're a cord cutter or use an antenna, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, but don't only do that, hit the bell icon so that way you receive a notification whenever I post a new video. Now as a heads up, this video is sponsored by Zapperbox. The company provided me with this unit and paid a sponsorship fee for my independent analysis and review. For those of you who aren't already aware, ATSC 3.0 or Next Gen TV is a new over-the-air TV standard that's launching in the United States. Features include better picture quality, better sound quality, and better reception. To find out if NextGen TV is on the air in your area, visit watchnextgentv.com. So the Zapper Box has a ton of features beyond the built-in ATSC 3.0 tuner, including a channel guide, signal meter, the ability to run a channel scan without deleting current channels, and the ability to channel scan on a specific RF channel. The Zapper Box also has a live pause function. This will roll out along with a DVR feature in a future firmware update. Since ATSC 3.0 is not available in my market, I traveled to an area that had it in order to test out the next gen tuner built into the Zapper Box, specifically Harrisburg, the capital of Pennsylvania. Here's the setup screen on the Zapper Box. It's pretty standard. You select the language, the time zone, and run a channel scan. Within the channel scan, it will show each RF channel it searches along with the signal to noise ratio. Notice how it locked in a next gen signal that carried ABC 27 while the main ATSC 1.0 signal wasn't picked up. You see, in some locations, the ATSC 3.0 signal will be stronger and more reliable than the current ATSC 1.0 signals out there. I'll explain this a bit more later in this video. Here's the main screen on the Zapper Box. It has a nice looking channel guide that's easy to navigate through to see what's on each channel. The little icon here indicates a next gen signal. In this case, a one was placed in front of each channel number to identify the next gen signal. This is the case in some markets. In the settings, the antenna setup tab shows some very detailed signal information, including the RF channel, frequency, signal strength, signal to noise ratio, and overall signal quality. This is very helpful to help you locate the best spot for an indoor, attic, or even outdoor antenna. In the channel scan menu, you can run an additive channel scan. This will search for additional channels without deleting your current channels. You can also run a single frequency scan, which is very helpful if you're trying to add one week channel that may not show up on a regular channel scan. This helped me add the ATSC 1.0 signal that carried ABC, so I was able to compare it to the next gen signal. The overall speed and response from the Zapper Box is very fast with one exception. It takes about 11 seconds to load up a next gen signal as you can see here. This is real time and not edited at all. I'm told by Zapper Box that most markets won't have this long of a load time and that's already been reduced to two to six seconds in a recent update after I filmed this part of the video. One thing that I found very interesting about the ATSC 3.0 signal was that it could be decoded at a much lower signal to noise ratio than the ATSC 1.0 signal. The 1.0 signal would start to drop out at around 15 dB SNR, but the 3.0 signal remains stable all the way down to an SNR of about 12 dB. For those of you who aren't technical, this simply means that an ATSC 3.0 signal can be picked up with a lower signal than an ATSC 1.0 signal. This represents a real life situation where someone may gain a few channels or at least improve reliability if they are in a very weak signal area. I saw an improvement in picture quality between the ATSC 3.0 signal and the regular ATSC 1.0 signal. Specifically, there were less compression artifacts. 
Here are a few back-to-back -back screenshot comparisons. I also brought the Zapper Box with me on my trip to CES in Las Vegas. What's interesting is a channel scan brought in all major networks in ATSC 3.0, while CBS 8 and ABC 13 were not picked up in ATSC 1.0. This is another real life example of how you may gain some additional channels with a zapper box if your current TV can't pick up all major networks. Here's a little test I did with a zapper box to show how much more robust ATSC 3.0 is compared to the current ATSC 1.0 TV standard. Watch what happens as I move the antenna around on the ATSC 1.0 signal. You'll see it immediately drops out, stutters, something a lot of you are probably used to. Now let me go tune to the ATSC 3.0 signal and give it a few seconds to load up and see what happens when I move the antenna around. You'll notice the signal remains stable no matter what I do with the antenna. And this really represents real life changes in atmospheric conditions and signal pass multipath interference that a lot of you experience on the ATSC 1.0 signals that are currently broadcasting. I mean, look at this. I can just like throw this thing like a Frisbee and the signal still stays stable. In the same hotel room, I was able to pick up some experimental broadcasts that were used exclusively for CES, which was really cool. This channel featured HDR content on a loop. For those of you interested in the Zapper Box for the improved picture quality aspect, Sinclair Broadcast Group actually announced right at CES that all of their TV stations that broadcast in ATSC 3.0 have HDR on the air. Most markets with next-gen TV also have 1080p signals that will look better than 720p and 1080i signals on ATSC 1.0. The Zapper Box will upscale all broadcasts to 4K, so if you have a 4K TV, you may notice a slight difference in picture quality compared to using the tuner that's built into your TV set. These reviews of the Zapper Box on Amazon appear to confirm this. I'm told by Zapper Box that the Dolby AC4 audio on next-gen signals provides a richer surround sound experience if your TV is hooked to an external speaker system. In addition to the tuner function on the Zapper Box, you can also watch YouTube videos on it. I'm told that there are plans to release a full version of Android with an App Store sometime in the future. The DVR feature will also be released through a firmware update, but will require either a microSD or a USB hard drive in order to use. Overall, I was very impressed with the Zapper Box. Not only with how it functions, but the fact that it's one of the only ATSC 3.0 next-gen TV-enabled tuners on the market that you can connect directly to your TV set without an internet connection. Without even trying, I was able to demonstrate the real-life advantages of an ATSC 3.0-enabled tuner. Specifically, how the Zapper Box gained a missing channel on ATSC 3.0 at each location I tested it out with improved reliability. If you live in a weak signal area, can't pick up a certain local channel reliably, experience pixelation and dropouts on windy days, or just want to be an early adopter of next-gen TV, the Zapper Box is a perfect solution. Even if you don't have ATSC 3.0 on the air yet, the Zapper Box provides a better over-the-air experience with detailed channel guide information compared to just going through each channel to see what show is on. It will even have DVR capabilities in the future. Follow my links in the description of the video to order the Zapper Box on Amazon or the Zapper Box website. Now, before all of you go out and buy the Zapper Box, assuming that you're guaranteed better reception and picture quality, it's very important to make sure that the ATSC 3.0 signal in your market can be picked up at your location. To find out, run a reception report under the Signal Search Map tab on rabbitears.info. Look for the broadcast signal that has the last three rows highlighted in green. This indicates an ATSC 3.0 signal. Click on the call letters to see what TV stations broadcast on it. As long as the signal is above the gray bad category, it should be able to be picked up, but fair to poor signal locations may require a medium to large size outdoor antenna. If you are not sure if you have the correct antenna for your area, maybe you bought something cheap on Amazon, consider signing up for my antenna recommendation service 
on my website at antennamanpa.com as the antenna is a very important factor when it comes to picking up next-gen TV in your market. Thanks so much to Zapperbox for sponsoring this YouTube video, supporting my YouTube channel, and giving me the opportunity to review their great next-gen tuner. An additional thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos help you cut the cord or if you just think they're cool and would like to help support them while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button this video and you can also click the thanks button. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates whenever I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I include a link in the description of the video. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and antenna related videos, including videos on next gen TV and have an awesome day.